Hi guys, welcome back to Quad Quad. So today we are doing an unboxing video and it's the Samsung A32 phone and I've actually shipped it uh, from Amazon. Alright, so we'll just cut this open right through. Alright. So guys, so this is this Samsung Galaxy A32 phone. I will just you know put that out and so this is the black color phone that we have here so I'll just you know place this open alright all the way through okay so just take a look at this alright Okay, so I'm not much used with uh, you know Android phones, so this is kind of tricky for me. Yeah, so sort of take the seal. And one more seal up here. So, if the seal is broken, do not accept it. Alright. So, as you can see, the Samsung logo here. We can just pull that off. Alright. Alright, so we have a box here. So, let me just open this. Okay, so we have a quick start guide, alright, and a cover that's nice, a clear case. Alright, so this is something that does not come with Apple devices, so I literally had no idea since I've never used an Android phone before this. And smoothly just take it out and look at this. It looks so good. So we'll just keep this aside for now and then we'll come and we'll get a look at the other part. Alright, so we have some accessories here. So we have the charging port, which is a C-type port as I noticed here. Uh, let me just uh, show you. So most Android phones are right now switching to C-type ports, unlike the you know the olden port that they used to use. Um, and we have the pin here, which is you know kind of like a similar pin that is used in uh, Apple devices uh, to change the SIM card of the phone. And next we have the power brick. So this is a 240 volt that is 60 hertz, uh, 5 0.5 ampere uh, power block, and it's adaptive fast fast charging, which is really good for a phone in this era. All right, so I think yeah, that's it, and let's go into the phone. So the phone, as we take a look, it has three. You know very good features that are you know heavily uh, concentrated that's the infinity u display the quad camera and the on-screen fingerprint so if i remember not, uh, right then the main camera is about 64 mp which is really good and it has four cameras so you know you can you can have it in different angles and uh, you know the wide uh, the wide view angle for your photos so it's gonna be great and the front camera which is almost invisible alright so that is also a huge 20 MP so that's gonna be great for all your you know, zoom calls and all that and uh, it has an on-screen fingerprint so that's great so I think that's the only thing that this phone has to offer so let's alright so now I figured this out how to do this alright and then okay so this is like this And let's switch it on. Okay, nice Samsung logo. Powered by Android. Yes, of course, as we all know. And the the camera that we can see now is the 20 MP camera that is located here. So it looks really nice. And it has these curved edges which looks really nice. 
so and the bath is actually a plastic bath unlike the uh, glass ones that other uh, you know most of the phones that i'm familiar with have okay so it's starting android it took you know it was pretty slow yeah but it actually did the job okay and the welcome screen and look at the quick start guide so how quick is it really gonna be okay so this Start it up real quick. Okay, pages are super thin as usual. Okay, the device layout. Yeah, yeah. So, fingerprint. Yeah, this, that. The usual stuff. Okay, and the nano SIM card. The camera. Nothing new. Nothing new yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. So everything is just the old stuff, nothing new. And it's checking for updates. So you know, let's just give it some time. It might take a few minutes. And let's just uh, look into the total handling capacity of this phone. So basically, the shape is really good. It looks, you know, the curved edges, the curved edges really good, look very good. And the camera also looks actually very good. And the flash light and seeing this flash light, I think it's gonna be pretty bright. And the plastic back, it's it's not very really luxurious uh, as it comes in plastic. It could have been something like carbon fiber or something. But this is actually gonna provide you very good grip also while you're you know you know while you're lousily using your phone outside. All right. So and overall, this looks very good and that's it actually has a different shade of you know kind of like a silver black on the sides comparing to the you know the fully black finish at the back of the phone and the screen brightness is actually sufficient you know uh, when we go outside it's this is going to be pretty sufficient or else we can even increase this i, I i'm thinking that this is going to be anywhere in the first quarter okay so that's it i'm all set up and I just put in finish and the battery didn't last really that long I guess it, it decreased by nearly 3% I guess in the you know the past few minutes that I've been using it alright so we are directly into the Google Chrome I guess alright so something that I found really interesting is that we can even see the Google Doodles here in Chrome in uh, an Android phone well, I don't know if uh, we can actually do that in Chrome even in iPhones because I have been mostly using Safari over Chrome after it got the huge update too. So right now, actually this thing is really good and it has a similar setup to that of iPhone. So I feel it really convenient to use and I'm just going to check into settings and I'm just going to check in how to increase the brightness. So just to check how much is the maximum brightness I can get in here. Alright, so display and the brightness, the match. So this is actually pretty bright. Alright, so this is gonna be enough for you know whatever needs you're gonna have. And I think that this is gonna be you know everything that's sufficient for you. And I don't need this right now, so I'm just gonna you know put it in adaptive mode and this is gonna be just it. And I prefer the dark mode, so I'm just you know putting that in and I come for shield. So the overall view or my view on this phone is that it's pretty good actually you know we have so many features you know this actually comes with a whopping 128 gb of storage and 6 gb ram so th you're not gonna have the problem of you know multitasking anymore so you're gonna have like you know 5 10 apps in your background and still you can use your mobile with ease so i think that this is the end of the unboxing and the review and I think that this phone is pretty good. I also know your suggestions in the comments down below and I will see you later next time. Bye.